is not the physical meeting. Uh, I have joined the, your, uh, the, the meeting in the last uh, several uh, years. However, uh, I couldn't uh, come with you because of the COVID-19. I think all of you are suffered from the COVID-19 uh, this bad situation, uh, but I hope it will be overcome soon, and then I hope we will we'll meet uh, soon again. Uh, first of all, uh, congratulations uh, on your having a fifth international meeting in occupational medicine. Uh, organized by the Association of Occupational and Environmental Medicine in, in Thailand. And also, uh, it's my honor to uh, give our second uh, Touching Hours honorable lecture. So, uh, it is really uh, uh, honorable for me. And uh, Touching Hour, uh, he is a, a really good, uh, the nice person. Uh, although uh, I haven't uh, worked with him, but then whenever I have the internet, I met him. So he always very kind and warm hearted person and very humorous. And he uh, talk about the many uh, things that relate to uh, you know, Malaysia or some uh, his experience in the UK. So I think uh, as like you, I always miss him and uh, uh, so uh, it's really my, my honor to uh, give a lecture as in the name of the him. So uh, today uh, I'm talk about, I was given to talk about the ILO and WH global burden of occupational disease. What is the meaning of? But actually when I heard uh, and I was requested this the title, uh, I was hesitated because I haven't uh, talk about uh, these issues. And then uh, pres uh, I co-president Yukata Kala, he always mentioned, emphasized and mentioned about and then global burden of oc occupational diseases. So, but my focus is a little bit uh, narrow. I haven't, uh, see, uh, I haven't seen the, the big picture, but uh, thank you for uh, the organizer for giving me to see the big picture of a uh, global burden of occupational diseases. So uh, before starting my lecture, and the, uh, what do you imagine when you heard of the occupational diseases? So I always ask my students and my colleagues when I started my the class, and then what do you imagine? And then people just imagine if you heard, heard uh, uh, the occupational disease, you can imagine pneumoconiosis or noisy hearing loss and uh, the lead and mercury poisoning, also organic solvent poisoning. As so someone else said, and the musculoskeletal disease, mental health, and some, something else. But uh, the, the, the occupational disease uh, is uh, different from the person to person and uh, the country to country, and even in, in, uh, in a country, even where you are working for, if you work the prevention, your definition on occupational disease is uh, different from the, that of the, uh, the, the person who are working for compensation. So uh, traditionally in occupational disease, we just uh, imagine the uh, noise work or some uh, dusty work uh, by the uh, physical agent or the chemical substance. Also, uh, uh, we are aware of the uh, disease caused by the uh, virus hazard, like in the COVID-19 or some other uh, infectious diseases. But uh, we can also extend as a name of the work-related diseases like this. Uh, ergonomic issues, and also uh, the stress or some the mental health problem. So uh, many diseases by work facility or equipment, we call it the musculoskeletal disorders. Also, we uh, many the workers suffered from disease uh, caused by the work organization and the stress and the working hours and other mental uh, social factors. Like uh, so, 
for the heart disease or stroke or mental health and then GI problems. So uh, the probably some of you remember that I just uh, uh, showed it uh, the model on occupation health development in the several years ago in this conference. And in the beginning, when we have the occupational health, and then most occupational disease caused by the environment, so so-called uh, the uh, poisoning or uh, uh, the pneumoconiosis like that. This is this in this uh, in this case, and all the uh, diseases caused by the the work. So uh, the best way to eliminate occupational, occupational disease in this stage is the control work environment. That's it. If we control the factory uh, work environment, we can control the occupational diseases. However, even if we remove the, we make the good uh, control in uh, work environment, many people, many workers still suffer from different kind of the diseases. And then uh, that is so-called aggravated by the work. So like in cardiovascular disease, musculoskeletal disease, or mental health, this uh, this is generally someone ha someone the workers have have the lifestyle diseases or aging, and then their work environment uh, aggravate uh, this uh, disease more uh, be seriously. So in this case, we need some kind of occupational service. We can provide this information to workers and uh, to control their lifestyle disease as well as the controlling work environment. So for I, I explained this, uh, I defined this, uh, this, uh, this time is uh, internal, personal environment. Even if we control, also we, we can say this, this stage is health promotion stage. Even if we control the work environment and control the lifestyle diseases, we probably suffer from some other uh, strange diseases, some, something like the rare disease in new industry or some other uh, diseases. At this stage, it is really vague and causal, uh, cause and the uh, the result causal relationship is very uh, uh, difficult to define. So uh, this is uh, like in, uh, I call this a triggered by the work or some social environment. So it, at, the, at this time, it is also the, pro the wedge, rose, the uh, wedge rose is really the, another problem. So uh, in this uh, stage, we just uh, located the social security system and then also we just look on general social environment and social protection. So uh, the occupational health is uh, like in the defined this three phase, three stage. So probably you remember that. And also I just uh, 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 check the economic uh, development and then occupation health issue. In the beginning, we can uh, divide in the four errors, in the agricultural errors, industrial revolution error, and then IT industry, so-called World Wide Web error. And then recently, we, we call it and then AI-controlled society, so industry 4.0. And uh, so what kind of industry or uh, have been developed in the, this stage in the in the beginning, or the agricultural workers are working in the agricultural sectors, and the most the hazard was ergonomic issues, and the many workers probably suffered from the musculoskeletal diseases. In the beginning of industrial revolution, and the mining or textile industry has been developed, and then there was lots of the dust and the noise, and then pneumoconiosis and the hearing loss has ever been developed at that stage. And then in the middle of the industrial revolution and the manufacturing, various different kinds of manufacturing industry has developed. And then at that time, the chemicals and the ergonomics is a major issue of that at that time. And the rate of uh, industrial revolution, we uh, developed a lot of automobile uh, system like and then uh, assembly line, 
and then they the workers usually work as the repetitive simple work and probably they suffer from job stress or uh, musculoskeletal problem so uh, the end and the third, uh, third uh, industrial revolution and we developed a lot of electronics mobile phone and the computer uh, things and then at that time there's also the concern related to uh, electromagnetic field or uh, many different kinds of chemicals uh, the problems and also uh, the uh, the health uh, problem came from the informal sector, so platform labor, something like that. And then health outcome is more vague, as uh, uh, we just curious about the uh, health effect caused the uh, uh, nanomaterial or some we suffered from rare diseases and the mental issue problem. And uh, in the in the fun, and then last in uh, industry four, probably many things will be done by the AI. So the many uh, simple labor, simple workers, they may uh, lose their job. So probably uh, the, the jobs uh, in security is a major issue or a discrimination depends on the, uh, their uh, the intellectual ability or, or not. So people may be uh, uh, the discriminated. Then you see that and vaccination in COVID-19 how the uh, difference between um, uh, the Western country and uh, some uh, low and the middle income countries. So all the vaccine is uh, secured by the uh, major countries. And then uh, they already have the more than 80% vaccination rate. But uh, I heard that some uh, low income countries still uh, uh, didn't reach uh, the or even the 10% in vaccination rate. So at this time, in the stress, anxiety, or mental health would be a major problem. And then there are the last of the unpredictable uh, accidents. So uh, global burden of disease. Uh, I took uh, this uh, data from the, uh, the website of the University of Washington and Institute of Health uh, Management and Evaluation. So you can access into this website, just hit the global burden of the disease, you can get this site. So uh, if we hit this, um, this, is, this is their web page, there's a lot of uh, the information about uh, the website. So uh, uh, in, in the website, uh, to uh, get there, uh, we just uh, uh, talk about in the definition of some the terms. Probably most of you already know the well done mortality. So, what, however, mortality is the big uh, good index to compare the health status for one one from the others. However, mortality does not give a complete picture of a burden of a disease uh, borne by individuals in different population because. Uh, this is the, uh, the only count the deaths. So if we uh, someone uh, suffered from the disability for a long time, and it, it doesn't count only deaths. So uh, the WHO uh, developed some the DAR, uh, other index like in the DARI, uh, this will uh, just the life year. This is a time-based measure that combined year of life loss due to premature uh, the, the mortalities and year of, uh, or years of life loss due to the time lived in state of less than poor health or year of health uh, life loss due to disability. So if uh, some uh, certain disease which has more uh, the, the, the disability is count uh, more uh, uh, the mortalities. And there's also a uh, while this years lived with a disability. So uh, it is um, uh, important uh, the people wants to live without a disability or without a disease uh, until they are dying. However, many people suffer from the uh, uh, disease or uh, disability before uh, the dying. So uh, one of the things we, as an uh, health professional, we try to reduce the, the time of the disability or disease 
for a uh, river time. So uh, this is the, the, the graphic if you get under this website and then this is the single uh, country, single one, or you, uh, you can compare uh, the countries, the two countries or region or the sex and the age, what, what, whatever you want. And then there's the two type of the display, one is course of death or, uh, <coughs> or uh, the risk. And also risk can be divided in uh, environmental and occupational. And then you can get the measure outcome as a death or YLD or DAR risk. So uh, this is the, the portal. So let's go back to this one and hit the, the website. Yeah, so we come to the website. Okay, you can see that uh, this is a uh, single, and then this is compared by year, age, and the sex, and course, and the risk, and the location, and course to the risk. So if we want to uh, look at the death in, in the country, in the globally, and uh, if, if we want to see the time, Thailand, You can see the Thailand. So uh, if you compare the two, uh, the location, and one is Thailand, and the other we can we can compare to globally. Global. Okay. So uh, this uh, right color means in the decreasing, uh, decreasing, and then dark color means in the increasing. Uh, this <coughs> pinkish color. Uh, means in uh, infection, and the, this greenish color means uh, the uh, injuries. And then uh, this bluish is the chronic diseases. Uh, you can compare the, the situation in Thailand and then and the, uh, globally. Okay. And. Uh, so I just uh, get uh, implement and uh, <coughs> uh, <coughs> occupational <coughs> risk in Thailand and globally, <coughs> and then uh, you can see uh, the uh, ischemic heart disease and the stroke and uh, lung cancer. Oh, oh, this I'm sorry, this is occupational. Risk. Okay, let's see from this. And uh, changes in the course of the death from 1990 uh, 90 to uh, 2019. So you can see this uh, dark color is increasing in, in Thailand, and then is the dark color is increasing in and then globally. And then infection, as you can see, the increasing and some decrease. If you compare to uh, the Korea, and then this is the Republic of Korea. So the, in, in, in Thailand, uh, liver cancer and the colorectal cancer is increasing, and then the coronary lung cancer is increasing, and then uh, pancreatic, pancreatic cancer also increasing. And infection, uh, HIV in Korea is uh, very rare. Uh, however, and if we see the injuries in the cell pump, so-called the suicide is increasing. This, this is the, one of the major Cause of death in, in Korea in recently as the number of the suicide has increasing. So uh, uh, we, we we have done a lot of things to uh, reduce in this cause uh, the suicide. And also, uh, if we see the death attributable to uh, environmental occupational risk, and uh, they describe the uh, ischemic heart disease and the stroke and the lung cancer, and hypertensive uh, uh, heart disease and the diabetes and then COPD and the chronic kidney disease. This is the asthma. Uh, this is the probably pneumoconiosis and then lung cancer and then this is probably a metathelioma. So if we, uh, if they uh, limited to occupational risk, oh, that this is the, uh, uh, the Pictures, pictures between and then Thailand and then Korean. 
Korea uh, still uh, we we have to uh, still has a big uh, higher risk of the COPD and then C uh, CKD and pneumoconiosis and the mesothelioma is very rare and probably no mesothelioma in uh, very rare less mesothelioma in entire. <clears throat> And uh, if we select only that attributable to occupational risk, as mostly uh, count in COPD and the lung cancer and the asthma and uh, pneumoconiosis and metathelioma. So uh, in Thai, uh, you have the uh, lung cancer and the COPD asthma. So this is the Korea, is the uh, uh, lung cancer and COPD. Lung cancer is relatively high and and pneumoconiosis. <clears throat> but if we uh, look at the DALI, the disability adjust our uh, life years, and uh, this is a little bit uh, different because this this doesn't count only the, the deaths, it's count for the year of the uh, disability. So the back pain is really the big issues. In, 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 and globally, back pain is also an issue, but in Thai has more issue than, than globally. And if you compute, yes, uh, because uh, back pain uh, has the uh, show with the uh, <coughs> uh, people suffer from the back pain as a disability. So uh, if we summarize in the, uh, by this uh, I, IHMS group, and they uh, describe the occupational risk is mostly COPD, and then lung cancer, and the asthma, pneumoconiosis, and metathelioma. So all the pneumoconiosis caused by the occupational risk, but in uh, the, the uh, COPD, is 15% uh, uh, caused by the uh, occupation. And the environmental, if we put the environment, and then stroke, in, uh, ischemic heart disease, and uh, hypertensive heart disease, or uh, chronic uh, kidney diseases, uh, contribute to uh, envi environmental uh, diseases. So, uh, if you, uh, based on this uh, statistic, can occupational risk cause, can you say the occupational risk cause a GI problem? Yes, uh, someone says yes, but uh, someone, uh, the others say no. Uh, but it's, uh, it's, uh, it's based on uh, your, uh, your aspect. If you uh, look at, if you see the compensation, it is very difficult to <clears throat> differentiate between occupational reason or not uh, occupational reason, occupational uh, reason. So uh, if you could go back to uh, uh, the, the Lamazzini and the Lamazzini who wrote in the, uh, the disease of workers, and he already mentioned in 1700 when he wrote his uh, the books in the 1700 and 1713, and he mentioned about the disease of learned man. So can you imagine what is the disease of learned man? He just look at the many people who are uh, professional, who are scholar, and then they have the same feature of disease. And of course, in the sedentary work, uh, the course in uh, uh, less exercise and the course lifestyle disease eventually uh, a more shortened the life span. He already mentioned about that. But uh, in addition to that, uh, the most uh, the scholars they suffer from the uh, they call the weak stomach. They have the stomach problem because they their work is always uh, stressful, and and then and this uh, GI problem caused by uh, their, their their work. But and of course, in no country except in uh, GI problem and occupational disease uh, so far, as I understand. And but probably uh, for the prevention purposes, we can consider that to uh, uh, to minimize in the uh, stomach problem of the uh, the workers who, who do their uh, intellectual intellectual works. So. Uh, 
the ILO and the WHO uh, uh, also uh, uh, do some uh, the, uh, the work for global uh, burden of diseases. So they uh, published in WHO ILO joint estimate, estimates of the work-related burden of disease and the injuries in 2000 2016. <laughs> And uh, also, uh, they have done uh, many meta analysis for uh, cause of occupational cause and then disease outcome. So one of the project is uh, uh, looking at the uh, cardiovascular disease and then uh, stroke uh, and the long working hours. And uh, they, uh, the, the WHO, uh, published in these uh, papers. And the global region, regional and international, the burden of ischemic heart disease and the stroke, attributed to exposure to long working hours for 190 for the countries. And they uh, collect all the papers uh, related to uh, long working hours and then uh, heart disease and uh, the, the stroke, and then uh, eliminate all. Uh, improper on uh, the method the study the design and they select a good uh, study design and not related to compensation and uh, they uh, uh, brought, uh, brought all the, the, the workers who involved the long working hours and, uh, and then who measured for ischemic heart disease or stroke so I am the one over the course of the, the, the study and then finally uh, they reported for if the workers working uh, uh, more than uh, 55 hours uh, per week and the relative risk caused by the, uh, the long working hours in 1.17, it means 17% will be increasing caused by the long working hours. If we see the stroke is 1.35, uh, it's 35% increasing by the long working hours. So, uh, this is uh, this report is uh, 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 reported by based on this kind of uh, studies. So you can find in WHO ILO joint estimate of uh, work-related burden of disease and injuries. Even ICO website, if you go to the ICO website, you can see uh, the, the this is ICO website now. Uh, this uh, report is posted on the ICO website. You can see that. Also, you can go directly to WHO website. So, if you go hit in the this uh, uh, the uh, work related burden of disease, you can go this way. You can download many of these pictures and then uh, even the data source. You can get more uh, the graph infographics. So uh, based on this uh, uh, this uh, estimate and then uh, the total number of attributable deaths by occupational risk factor in 183 countries for the year 2016, and mostly the most uh, occupational risk factor is uh, exposure to long working hours, and also uh, occupational injuries and also occupational uh, particular matters and the gas and the fumes and the asbestos and the silica and the asthmogen and the uh, uh, diesel engine exhaust and uh, <coughs> nickel and the aromatic hydrocarbon, chromium, cadmium, beryllium, benzene or arsenic. So uh, and uh, each year uh, and also, this is uh, the uh, the deaths, and the total number of attributable deaths uh, by uh, pair of the occupational risk factor and health outcome. Uh, this is the chronic um, health outcome. It's the most uh, common thing, common disease are uh, chronic obstructive uh, pulmonary disease, and second one stroke, and is ischemic heart disease, and then cancers. And the uh, cancers, the asthma, uh, and that uh, so on. Also, uh, if we at the time the occupational risk factor is an occupational particles, and uh, exposure long working hours, 
and the asbestos and the silica and the asthmogens. And uh, uh, this is the uh, diary. This is the total number of approved diary uh, by pairs of occupational risk factor and then health outcome in uh, 183 countries uh, for the year of 2016. And uh, health outcome, you can see that and the stroke and the back pain, uh, because the stroke has not limited for death. When the stroke is developed, the people usually suffer many years as a, with a disability and then finally died of that stroke. So the diary of stroke is really very high. And then back pain and uh, neck pain, this is not cause of death, but is the uh, cause of the uh, uh, disability. So uh, the many people suffered from the back pain or neck pain. Uh, so uh, the diary is relatively very high. And then chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and the ischemic heart disease are, and other hearing losses. So if we compare to death and the diary, you can see that death are probably caused by the uh, long working hours or injuries or the, uh, the, the particles or asthmogen. However, if we see the diary, and this is a proportion uh, caused by the uh, organic factors, back pain and muscle uh, uh, back pain or uh, neck pain, uh, this uh, this uh, is caused by the noise. So many people suffer from the noise in this hearing loss, but didn't count in the mortality. So the, we we can compare the death and then the diary. So also we can compare the uh, the rate in the uh, globally by the by the region, and then uh, unfortunately in the Southeast Asia region and the Thai uh, belong to this region, and uh, the death rate uh, total, total death rate is uh, higher than average, and then in also Western Pacific uh, region is higher than average. So in summary, and this is the pictogram you can get from the website or on WHO, and the death due to occupational risk factor is particularly high among uh, people living in the West Pacific region and the Southeast Asia, this is in Asia. And the people are all the working ages. I didn't show the ages, but you can find the information of the uh, differences uh, the among ages. And also, of course, on the man. And globally, uh, exposed to risk factor at work result in almost 2 million premature deaths per year. 80% are, are from the diseases. And uh, risk factor at work, which cause the most deaths per year, are uh, the long working hours, is uh, attributed more than 750,000 deaths and the air pollution and gas and fumes in 450,000 deaths and the injuries in 360,000 deaths. So also the work-related health condition that caused the most deaths per year is chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases and the stroke and the ischemic heart diseases. And in the rest, uh, the pictograph, they uh, show the, uh, the, the diagram for the hierarchy of control to prevent work-related health loss. Of course, this is a basic principle, as you know, and the elimination is the best way to remove the occupational risk and physically remove the risk factors. If, if we cannot remove that uh, risk factor, we uh, try to substitute and then replace the risk factor to others, or uh, uh, if not, we try to isolate workers from the risk factors, so for engineering control, and then and then we try then uh, administrative control, change how people work. If we change the working working the time, the change the shift and whatever, and then rotation. So uh, we 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 do some administrative controls, and then and finally. The final choice is the personal protective equipment. 
So uh, this is a risk uh, effective, but this is the last choice to protect the workers from the, uh, the occupational risk. <coughs> so again, in summary, an occupational death in 2016 is at almost 2 million, and, and then uh, nine, almost 90 million dollars. The dollars. And uh, uh, this is uh, accounted for 80%, and then most occupational risk factors are long working hours, and then particles, and an occupational injury. And most uh, health outcomes um, by occupational risk is chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases and then stroke ischemic heart diseases. And uh, the, the large work-related burden of disease occurred in West Pacific region and then Southeast Asian region, also male and old age groups. So uh, this you probably have the, some different uh, perspective, different feature about an occupational disease or work-related diseases when you start uh, from the when you start in the, this lectures. So now, of course, in the uh, poisoning or pneumoconiosis and the hearing loss, in our uh, the base, and then as an occupational the medicine or occupational health. However, we must uh, look at it in other uh, disease which caused or triggered or aggravated by the occupational risk factors. So global burden of disease include various work-related health problems, uh, including stroke or ischemic heart disease. However, disease caused by occupational risk do not cause a disability or death, like in the, uh, the weak stomach, and then are still missing in calm. So and then in the final, I just uh, remind you to there are, there are steps of development and occupational health. So uh, if we uh, when we start in an occupational health, we just limited for uh, protecting the workers from uh, outside the agent. But in after that, after second stage, we just uh, uh, we, we should check the some the factors triggered by the occupational factors or aggravate by the occupational factors. I hope uh, my uh, the lecture will be improve your vision or your uh, perspective in occupational health uh, be more wide. And then uh, I, I, I hope to provide, uh, uh, encourage you to uh, study more uh, the broadly uh, as an occupational or work-related diseases. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope to see you uh, physically soon in, in Bangkok or in Korea. Thank you. Thank you.